If you're looking for an easy appetizer, these mini quiches are sure to impress. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. We're going to start by making the crust for the mini quiches. And for that, we're going to go in with two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, which is approximately 300 grams. And to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. It's going to give it a quick whisk so that the salt gets well distributed with the flour. And to get that lovely flaky crust, we're going to go in with three fourth cup of butter and this is frozen unsalted butter. I've cut it into small cubes so that it makes it easier to work it into the flour. And now using a pastry blender, we're going to cut the butter into the flour. Now you could do this whole process in a food processor, but I just like the good old fashioned way and I find that it gives you a more flaky crust. Occasionally use your spatula to clear out whatever is stuck on the blender. And when you find that the butter has got cut into small bits, it's time to get in with your clean hands. And we're going to take a little bit of the flour mixture and rub it between our palms. This way we're going to be flattening out the butter, which is going to give us that lovely flaky crust. Don't overdo this because you don't want to melt the butter from the heat of your hands. And once you get the sand-like texture, you're going to add in some cold water and bring the dough together. We want some really cold water to bring the dough together, so I put some ice cubes in a bowl of cold water. And we're going to add some water to the mixture. We're going to start by adding about four tablespoons of water and bring the dough together. And we can add more as we go. Just using a spatula, I'm going to bring it together. You don't want to knead this dough, you just want to press it together. The less you handle the dough, the better. We're going to add in some more water. Adding another two tablespoons and pressing it together again. And we're going to go in with another two tablespoons and that should do the trick. This is looking perfect. We're going to put the dough down on the parchment paper. And we're going to use the parchment paper to press the dough together so that the heat of our hands does not make the butter melt. And we're going to put this down onto a plastic wrap, press it down a bit, and we're going to wrap it up and refrigerate it for at least half an hour before we roll it out and line our mini quiche tarts with it. Our pastry dough has got a chance to firm up and you can see all that little butter streaks inside it. That's what's going to give us that lovely flaky pastry. Now we're going to roll this out and line our little mini quiche tarts. And if you want to know where I got these from, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. It's just a little bit of all-purpose flour on our work surface. And we're going to dust a little bit on the top as well. We're going to roll this out gently but firmly. <laughs> And there we go, we've got the perfect thickness. Nice. Now these tart forms are four inches in diameter. So we're gonna use a template which is a little bit bigger, approximately five and a half inches. So I'm gonna go in with this bowl, which is five and a half inches in diameter. So that we have enough when we press it down into the tart form. So we're gonna start cutting around the bowl. So we have one there. I'm going to keep it as much as we can to the edge and touching the other one so that we get the maximum amount from this one roll. We're just going to take one of the cutouts now. So we're going to place the pastry dough inside the tart form and then with using our fingers we're just going to push it down and press it to the side of the tart form. Make sure not to stretch it because if you stretch it then when it's in the oven it's going to shrink. So try to push it down as much as you can. Now using the knife, we're going to shave off the excess. Now using my handy dandy tool, I'm going to start pressing it down at the bottom. And then pressing it against the side. This will make sure that the quiche will get that lovely ripple curly effect from the tart form. 
And if you're interested in purchasing this little handy dandy tool, I will leave the link in the description box below. And there, our first one is ready. And now we're gonna put all the scraps back together and roll it out once again. If you want it, you could refrigerate it for a little bit so that it firms up before rolling it out. And once you've rolled it out about a centimeter thick, you can start cutting it out once again and filling in the tartlet forms. From the dough, you should be able to line nine mini quiche tarts. Now we're gonna cover them up and refrigerate them for at least 15 minutes so that they get a chance to firm up before we fill them up and bake them. While the tarts are chilling in the fridge, it's a good time for us to start making the custard and the filling for the mini quiches. For the custard, we're gonna go in with four large eggs and make sure that the eggs are chilled. This is one recipe where you really want the eggs to be chilled. And for a rich creamy texture to the custard, we're gonna add one and a half cup of heavy cream to the eggs. We're gonna season it with a quarter teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, quarter teaspoon of chili flakes for a kick of spice, quarter teaspoon of dried parsley, and quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. Now let's whisk this and bring it together. I haven't added any salt into this because we're gonna be adding some cheese and that's gonna have enough salt in it. Let's cover this up and refrigerate it while we prep our fillings. For a bit of variation, we're gonna go in with three different types of filling for our quiche. For the spinach and garlic, we're gonna go in with four cups of baby spinach and two garlic cloves, which are finely minced. We're just gonna take a few at a time and chop them up. You could even chop it after you cook it. It may look a lot, but once it all wilts down in the pan, it becomes just a little. For the sun-dried tomato and basil filling, we're gonna go in with 70 grams of sun-dried tomatoes. Or if you wanted, you could use grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes as well. But I prefer using sun-dried tomatoes because your filling comes a little bit more firm. When you use the cherry tomatoes or the grape tomatoes, the filling tends to be a little bit soggy. Since they're not pre-diced, I'm gonna dice them up. This way they get well distributed inside the quiche. And I've taken about eight basil leaves. and We're just gonna slice these up as well. If you roll them up, it becomes much easier to slice them. For the mushroom and green onions, we're going to go in with one bunch of green onions, which you should get about six to seven stalks. And we're going to finely dice the onion, and we're going to saute this with the mushroom in the pan. And we're going to finely dice the green stalks as well. And we're gonna dice three Bella mushrooms, which are approximately 90 grams. Now here's a tip in cleaning mushrooms. Don't wash them under running water. Instead, use a kitchen paper towel and gently wipe off any dirt that may be stuck on them. This way, the mushrooms won't turn mushy when you cook them. Now let's dice it up into small bits. Just chopping up the stalk first and we're gonna dice that up too. Cut these up into smaller bits. In a heated skillet on medium-high heat, we're gonna to toss in half a tablespoon of butter, swirling it around so it coats the entire base of the skillet. And into that, we're gonna add the bottom portion of the green onion that we had finely chopped. We're just gonna saute this for a bit. Okay, the onions are looking good, so now let's toss in the mushrooms. Now we're gonna saute this along with the onions, just for a little bit till the mushrooms get cooked. I'm gonna add some salt, but we'll do that later because when cooking mushrooms, you always want to add salt right at the end. The mushrooms have cooked, so now let's add just a pinch of salt to it. Give that a quick stir and take it off the heat. For our spinach and garlic filling, to a heated pan, we're gonna to toss in half a cube of butter once again. And on a medium high heat, we're gonna allow the butter to melt. And to that, we're gonna add the diced garlic and let's give it a quick saute. Just wanted to get a little color and lose its raw flavor. Garlic is looking good, so now let's top in our chopped spinach. And we're gonna saute it till the spinach gets cooked. You'll find that the spinach starts wilting and will reduce in quantity. And once again, we're gonna season it with salt right at the end. The spinach is cooked, so now let's add in a pinch of salt and give that a quick saute 
and take it off the heat. Now for some added flavor, we're gonna go in with three cheeses for our mini quiches. And I've got half a cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup of cheddar cheese, and half a cup of Gruyere cheese. We're gonna mix them up together and distribute them between our nine mini quiches. And we're just gonna mix it together. I think I should have used a spatula, but just let's go with this. So that the crust does not rise at the bottom, we're gonna take a fork and pierce some holes into it. This is a good time to preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna start putting a little bit of the cheese at the bottom of the mini quiches. We're gonna save some of the cheese for putting on the top as well. Since we have nine mini quiches, we're gonna make three of each flavor. And we're gonna start by filling in the spinach and garlic. And then in the next three, we're gonna fill up the mushroom and green onion. Just putting in some of the mushroom first. And we're going to top it with the finely sliced green onions. And I've saved just a little bit to garnish the top once we have put in the custard. And our third flavor is sun-dried tomato, basil and pesto. And we're just going to put a little bit of pesto at the bottom. And we're going to put a few strands of basil. And we're going to top that with the sun-dried tomatoes. And now we're going to start spooning in the custard. And I'm using a spoon so I have more control over it. And you want it to come right to the top. And here's a little extra step that I like to do is to take a toothpick and wiggle the filling inside. This way I know that the custard has gone right through and that's gonna to help to bind the filling of the quiche together. And for an added goodness, we're gonna sprinkle on some cheese on the top. And we're gonna to chop this with a little bit more of the green onion and a little bit of the mushroom. And let's place on a few of the sun-dried tomatoes on the top and let's sprinkle on a little bit of basil. Now we are all set to pop our mini quiches in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to bake them for approximately 40 to 45 minutes until the centers have set and we get a lovely golden color on the top. Our mini quiches are all ready and they're looking absolutely delicious. We're going to allow it to cool for about 10 minutes before we cut one and taste it. You'll find that as the quiche begins to cool, this little dome top that it has got will start settling down. And now it's time to unmold our mini quiches. And you can see how flaky the crust has turned out. And I'm going to take a mini jam bottle that I have, place the mini quiche on top of it. Now, since it's a loose bottom, you see how fast that falls down. And we're going to take our spatula and take it off the base. And now let's lay it down on a cooling rack. And I always like to serve it with a little salad on the side. And now it's time to give our mini quiches a taste. And I'm gonna go in with the sun-dried tomato, basil, and pesto because that's my favorite. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite flavor. I really love quiches. So this is my happy moment. Mmm! Wow, that was perfect. The pastry is so crispy and the inside is loaded with flavor from the sun-dried tomato and the pesto. I hope you give this recipe a try. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.